what is going on to all my servant fans out there and welcome back to my channel we are back with our fourth and final season of apple tv plus servant season four can't believe it we're already here but today we are breaking down the first episode of this new season which was titled pigeon now in this episode we see the war between leanne and the church of the lesser saints reaching its peak we have so much to break down in this premiere episode i'm so happy to be here with you all but before we get into the discussion if you all could do me a favor make sure if you enjoyed today's review if you enjoyed the commentary to hit the thumbs up button share this review to anyone and everyone you know that loves this show just as much as we do but more importantly i want to know your thoughts on this episode from not just your pros and your cons but what easter eggs deeper meanings did you all take away from this episode but also what are your hopes your theories and your thoughts of what you all hope to get in this fourth and final season let's have those conversations in the comment section with all that being said let's get into the breakdown full spoilers ahead as the first topic i want to bring up is the brand new intro now for me personally I might be a little bit biased because it's a new season, but I think this is my favorite intro so far. As we get the shots of the Turner's roof during a rain, and we pan over to seeing the shot of the broken railing from which we know comes from last season's finale, and the rain is coming down harder, and we end with a shot of Leanne holding the doll version of Jericho looking over the city, and I love this kind of new take on the theme with the focus on the violin. So the the things I love about this intro is I think it symbolizes the mindset of Leanne. She thinks she not only controls the Turner's house, but she might control everything outside of the house. So I think this symbolizes what her mindset is in going to this new season. But again, I love it. It might be my favorite intro of the series. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. But let's break down this episode. As we see, Gourmet Gauntlet has really taken off for Sean so far as we see Leanne's followers are still standing strong outside, at least for the time being. As we see, the preparations have been made for Dorothy's new way up and down the stairs and making it around the house as Leanne prepares to welcome her back home after her tragic fall from last season. Now, just a refresher for you all that can't really remember the main themes of season three and in particularly the finale, it's important to remember that the main focus of last season was this battle between Leanne and Dorothy and who really controls this house. Now for the first two seasons it was Sean and Julian trying to figure out how to get Leanne out of the house but in season three we see the reverse of that. Leanne is pretty much running things and she has not only Sean in her back pocket but also Julian leaving Dorothy to fend for herself. As the finale showed us Dorothy was pretending to be in line with things only for her to be lying and trying to sneak out of the house with her baby Jericho only for to be found by Leanne and we know how things ended with that railing breaking due to Leanne's little magical powers we know Dorothy fell she almost died but she's still here but again it's important to remember that now Dorothy doesn't control the Turner house it is Leanne but as we get back into the breakdown Julian and Leanne are still a couple as he calls her to give her an update to me, it's such a night and day transition from seeing Leanne from last season's premiere when she was just afraid to even walk outside of the house. Now seeing her running the home and she's just walking out of the house nilly-willy again. The power shift has been so dynamic in one season to the next and I think we're going to be seeing Leanne really taking this power to her head. As we see Leanne notices while getting the flowers from the car, the door of the Turner's house was left open and it appears that someone may have entered the home and yes someone is in a home as we see Leanne hitting him over the head with a vase but he did not come alone he actually has backup outside from the lesser saints as Leanne must fight them off she decides to hide into the truck now the first thing that comes to mind for me is immediately wondering where are all of Leanne's people but they give us the answer pretty quickly as one of Leanne's main followers gives her calls about their whereabouts as they were all taken in van to an unknown location by the police but Leanne knows that this was all coordinated by the Church of the Lesser Saints. Now Leanne believes that it's safe to leave the car at this point in the episode and she sees this seamlessly normal hot dog stand guy 
only to get attacked by him. This is just a, to me, it was a, a somewhat of a good coordination by Lesser Saints, but can we be honest in the comments? It's four seasons into the show and the Lesser Saints still haven't learned their lessons and how to attack Leanne. Let's talk about that. This was just a ton of people just seamlessly doing a bunch of nothing but we'll get into that here in a second but we see leanne is very resourceful she stabs the hot dog lesser saints member in the neck with a pin as a woman who seems to be normal running around checks on him but she's also a part of this attack as she throws what i thought initially was maybe holy water but it was actually oil that she throws in Leanne's face. Now, you all might recognize something that this woman did. I'm going to take you all back to season two finale. Josephine, as she gave the tape to Leanne, as she played her the ritual of the reunion, which was a four-step demonstration by Uncle Frederick. And we remember that step two was blinding the lost soul by either a knife or or oil so that is what that lesser saint member was doing she was trying to blindly in to get her back into the group i really love the camera work that was being used and that feeling of tension and the suspense as leanne is trying to fight them out we see that she manages to get back into the truck and those two members are banging on the door not knowing that the keys were under the car but yet again leanne smart she honks the corn to get them to go away and she notices that the lesser saints don't want to bring any attention to them but can we all be honest for just a hot second was it me or was it a little bit hard to believe that no one in that block or no one in the neighborhood noticed all the crazy stuff going on as i digress we head back into the car and Leanne is just stressing out. She's trying to clear her eyes and she thinks she sees someone in the back seat, but it's all a part of her imagination. Now, I think the person she thought was in the back seat was Aunt Josefina talking to her and telling her she'll burn like the rest. I think that's foreshadowing to what might happen to Leanne when it comes to this year's season finale. But see, Leanne is trying to attempt to drive away, but it's assumed that she's never driven a car before as more of the members pull up and we have these two identical twins in a man who's extremely tall looks like he's coming straight out of a Steven Spielberg novel he tells Leanne that she must come back that they're not gonna hurt her well I think it's safe to say they're willing to hurt her to get her back but Leanne remembers who she is and that she's not the same like she used to be and she's something more as he leaves a marking on the window and we remember that that marking from previous season they start to put gas into the car but this is once again leanne is standing her ground we see the pigeons which again is the title of this episode they arrive and they attack the lesser saints members under the control of leanne i even love the shot when we see one of those pigeons eating one of the members eyes out and while this was all entertaining and very exciting, I couldn't help to think that I feel like we've seen this before. I feel like the Lesser Saints have yet to learn their lesson. We know that Leanne has special abilities. Why isn't anyone really taking this more seriously? I don't know. It kind of felt like rinse, recycle, repeat. I would have imagined at this point that the Lesser Saints would have been more prepared in taking Leanne down. Am I the only one in feeling that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As we wrap up the episode, Leanne's followers finally arrive to the Turner's house. She tells them that everything is fine. They just have to be smarter next time. We'll see how that plays out in this season. But now the time has come that Dorothy has returned home. With Sean at her side, we see Leanne holding the flowers in her hand, only to be ignored by Dorothy, which isn't a surprise to me. It's almost hilarious to think that Leanne thinks that Dorothy was going to be happy to see her again. She's completely in denial, and she's delusional to think so. We see Dorothy has nothing to say to her, but we get this look of not only shame, but also disgrace not only from Dorothy but as well as Sean I'm very curious to see if Sean's going to be leaning more towards Dorothy this season or if he's going to be leaning more towards Leanne or trying to play the middle let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section as we see Julian tells Leanne 
Best case scenario for Dorothy is gaining her abilities back, but we don't see what the worst case scenario is, which I'm assuming she probably won't be able to walk again. But we all know Leanne can gift her of miracles, and I would imagine that Leanne would probably gift her the ability to walk to make her get back on her side. As we see Sean telling Leanne that Dorothy needs her space, which pisses Leanne off, and we see that the light starts switching off, and we end this episode with a shot of the house cracking yet again and this time it goes all the way out to the street so overall guys I'm gonna be honest with you this episode was fine again I love the shots I love the tension the suspense seeing Leanne using her abilities to fend for herself all that stuff was very entertaining but like I said it kind of feels redundant we've seen these moments before we've seen the lesser saints come up short and trying to get Leanne and it just feels like the same song and dance so I'm hoping that moving forward in this final season I want answers what is she is she an antichrist is she the devil herself reincarnated in this girl can we get a better understanding of the range and the abilities of the lesser saints I want answers but I also want things to be new and fresh and unique we're in this house I love the shots of the house I love how they use the house as a character but I want more I'm excited for this finale. I hope we get those answers. I hope we see the continuation of this power shift between Leanne and Dorothy and Sean and Julian and, of course, any other new colorful characters they decide to give us. And again, Uncle George, he did not appear in this episode. What has he been up to? Overall, again, I thought it was an okay premiere, but I'm hoping that this is the last episode where we kind of get the same old thing that we've seen in the previous three seasons, but give us something new, fresh, and unique. Those are just my thoughts. Share yours in the comments below. Before we wrap up this video, I just want to thank you all for the support of these reviews. I am very aware that Servant isn't the most talked about show online, but I've been covering this show since the very beginning, and I thank you all if you were there from the beginning or if you came came through last season or if this is your first time watching one of these videos I thank you if you all enjoyed the commentary if you want me to continue to review these episodes do me a favor hit that thumbs up share the review leave your thoughts in the comment section and of course if you haven't already subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell come and support the channel thank you all for watching it but we all are staying safe hope you enjoyed today's review as you can see on the screen now come and join the community check out my previous reviews for servant check out my most recent review and we'll catch you all on the next breakdown.